Usually, you might find sum of values using some function. But have you ever given a challenge where you had to find specific values sum instead of all the values? That's when this sumif or sumifs functions will be helpful. In this video, you will learn how to use sumif and sumifs as well as average if and average ifs function. Here, both sumif and average if functions are similar as well as sumifs and average ifs functions are similar. As you see here, we have sales data. We have various columns such as sales date, region, representative items. Let's say if you want to find sales volume of region central. In that case, let's see how do we find that using sum if function. Click on this cell, type equal to and go to this formula bar, type sum if. Here the first argument is the range of criteria that means where the value central exists in this data so here the region is the criteria range so select top cell and hit shift control and down arrow it selects all the values type comma and now the criteria as we want to find the sum of values of sales in central region so i just select central cell and then comma now the third argument is the sum range which is nothing but sales column here so select the top cell and hit shift control and down arrow and close the formula hit enter now we have the sales volume of central region What if we have multiple criteria? That's when we want to use sumifs function. Let's see how we can use sumifs function here. Hit equal to and go to the formula bar and type sumifs and open parenthesis. Here, first argument we have is sum range. This is slightly different from sumif function. In sumif, the first argument was criteria range but here sum range as first argument so let's select sum range which is nothing but sales volume column here so select this cell and shift control and down arrow like comma now criteria range as we have seen in the previous example so this is nothing but region column control shift down arrow and comma now we want to find sum of central region sales so select cell and hit enter this gave same value as sum if function if we want to add multiple criteria just copy this function and go to here and paste same one. Just change criteria to second cell. And now I will add my second criteria here. So in this case, we want to find sales volume where region is central and representative name is Jordan so I'll use next argument which is credit range 2 as representative column because that's where representative name exists so select cell shift control and down arrow come on and now use the criteria which is representative name Jordan and hit enter this gave sales volume of central region where representative name is Jordan. Let's look at another example where we want to find sales volume is greater than 500. So in this sales criteria, I can simply put greater than symbol and 500 and enter. 
so again I'll simply copy this this formula here and bring this down now we'll add third criteria here criteria range can be same as sales range so I used sales column as sales range now at the same time I'll use same sales column as criteria range for this third criteria so I select first cell in this sales and control shift down arrow comma I use my criteria which is sales credit 500 and hit enter one thing I want to tell here in these first two examples I did not use any conditional operator that means equal to or greater or less symbol but in my third example I used greater than symbol by default some if formula always takes equal to even if you don't specify but if you want to specify other than equal to you can do so by simply adding the condition to the criteria let's say if I go back to this first example if I want to find sales where region is not equal to central I can simply go to this formula and use not equal to symbol and percent as concatenation this gives me the sales where region is not equal to central if putting the condition within the formula difficult for you you can simply put the condition in the criteria cell itself so you can simply just say not equal to symbol hit enter and take this off so this that also gives same value you can also use not only greater than but also less than symbol so I simply change it to less than hit enter so it gives me the values this is one way of giving criteria to the sum of face function like placing the values in one of those cells and differencing them in the formula you can also place the criteria directly in the formula itself so here when I wanted to find sales not in central region I simply use this cell so instead of that I can simply go here and type not equal to and central that should give you the same result here something called wild cards so wild cards are very useful in certain circumstances for example here if you want to find some of the sales where reason name starts with CEM so you can simply use asterisk and you will get the same results if you don't know how many characters you want to use wildcard for that's when you use asterisk but if you know the exact number of characters then that's when you use question mark so in this case if you simply use question mark it doesn't work it gives you value as zero because there is no reason where reason name starts with C N and one more letter there is one more wild card tilde it has advantages when actual data itself has wild card in it for example you have some entry where that itself has wild card in it in this case I just change it to actual text centra and in front of the actual wild card I just use so in this scenario Excel treats question mark as part of the region names it does not treat question mark as wild card so if I hit enter now you see the value as 420 which is nothing but the value for this last line one more point I wanted to make here is that make use of tables in Excel for example when you add some value to this list let's say
when you add this, this plane is not being added in this formula. That means formula is not dynamic. To avoid such problem, simply what you can do is you can just create table. So click anywhere on this data and hit Ctrl T and click OK. Now your data has been created as part of table. So when you add new record to this one, let's say any so new row has been added at the same time your formulas have been updated average if and average if s are similar to sum if and sum if s you simply replace sum if with average if instead of some of the column values you get average of the values same thing goes to average if s just simply replace sum with average if in terms of syntax both sum and average ifs works same so it is easy to remember when you use this sum if average if functions make sure that you use same number of rows and columns for range arguments that means some range column and criteria range column have same number of rows as you see here if you like this video please hit that thumb icon and please don't forget to subscribe to get more updates